A cameraman for a Russian TV channel has been killed in eastern Ukraine. He and another TV crew came under fire in the Donetsk region. They were in a bus close to a Ukrainian army base, which was also carrying mothers of soldiers on their way to demand their sons return home, when gunfire came from inside the base. <laughs> And as you can see there, bullets hit the bus, one fatally wounding the cameraman. He died within an hour. The incident came just the day before a ceasefire between the Ukrainian army and self-defence fighters expires. Another reporter from Russia's Channel One was also on that bus. Here is how he described the attack. When we got out of shooting range, the driver stopped the bus to wait for other journalists who were following in cars. When we all got out of the bus and everyone was either calling home or calling their editors. And in about a minute we saw a signal flare in the sky and then the shooting started. Everyone ran towards the bus, they were shooting at the vehicle. I was on the driver's side and jumped in. A bullet whizzed past me and then I saw that it had hit the driver. I saw blood on his head. He started driving anyway, but then fell dizzy and the bus veered into a ditch and stopped. I ran out and saw someone was wounded and realized it was Anatoly. We were trying to find a car to get him to hospital, and when we started taking him out of the bus, he turned around and his last words were, the camera, the camera. Then in the car he was conscious for a while. But he lost consciousness when we got near the accident and emergency station. They tried to revive him for about half an hour, but then they came out and said there was nothing more they could have done. And it's not the first time the Russian journalists have been caught in Ukraine's crossfire. Just two weeks ago, army artillery fire killed a Russian correspondent and his sound engineer while they were filming refugees outside the city of Lugansk. A reporter for RT's video agency, Rutley, was severely wounded by soldiers in the city of Mariupol last month and it took several days to negotiate his return to Moscow. Journalists are often detained without charge by government forces. And correspondents for various Russian news channels have been apprehended, interrogated and even beaten.